well, that, that's almost a full, a, a bevy, a bevy yeah, of I was going to say, what is the, uh, the plural? I, I what do, is a pack of cheerleaders? Yes, I do not know. <laughs> Just made it up. All right, so Leah Brown is will be jumping center for the Lady Lions once, as usual. Rock Creek will go from your left to your right. I was reading the delay on the <coughs> on the stream. Oh, yeah. We just came up to Bevy there. All right, Kalise Dansby gets the opening tip and goes all the way. Good start. Yes, much better than the other night. We only scored two in the whole first quarter. Throwing up a block, shot was blocked by Aaliyah Brown. That was Shelby Griffiths who went in for the shot that, that was blocked. West Washington looking for an opening at oh, tough pass, but caught. Did you already mention Ryland? Uh, no, not Ry uh, Ryland Byers is back today. She is back, but she didn't start. Three pointer by Lily Thompson. She yeah, did. she is here. I saw her. I, just, I, don't, I still don't think she's up to 100%. I don't think so. Shit, today was her first day back, yeah. so. Rock Creek, Kalis Dansby backs it out to midcourt. Fakes right, goes left, falls down. As she hands it off, she may have tripped on somebody's foot or somebody tripped her or whatever. Kalis in the paint, goes up about a six footer, will not fall, but a foul will be called on West Washington. Start out with a shout out to Miss Hart. First comment, as always. Oh, well, hello, Mrs. Hart. That foul is on Lily Thompson. That is her first team's first. So it is now an official game. Mrs. Hart has checked in. Is that correct? She's quick. Yeah. Kalis misses the, the first free throw. Kalis eyes fires. And it is good. So three points for Kalis. Ties the game at three apiece. Lady Lions in their full court press, but no problem for West Washington. Nice move, but uh, uh, not, not a good shot. Fight for the rebound. And coming out with it is Kalis. She flips it behind her back, but it's still a wild scramble. Ooh. Coming up with it Ooh. is Aaliyah Brown right at midcourt. That was a wild sequence there. Pass underneath is a bad pass. First turnover for the game for the Lions. At 15, if you remember the first quarter the other day. Oh, yeah. Shot is no good by Meredith Deaton. Ahead quickly, the Lady Lions, Khalees Dansby. Khalees off to a great start tonight with five points. She struggled somewhat. <clears throat> yeah, she's coming up. She's a different player right now. Tonight she yeah. is. She looks much more alert, more active. And off the glass is up and good for West Washington. That was Jayla Bat scoring on that one. Ties the score at five apiece. Kalise along the baseline backs it out. Cross court pass to Chloe Carter and she travels. Oh, yep, she travels with the All ball. Right. I heard that foot drag. <laughs> you heard it yeah, drag. I heard the squeak. Yes. So that's turnover number two. You know, the turnovers was, were just woeful on Saturday. Oh, yeah, that was a huge – I mean, the other team was very good. You know, that was a big part. Again, you, like we said during the game, you can't score if you don't get a shot off. Yep. Shot no good by West Washington, but they get their own rebound. Once again, tie score, five and a half minutes to play opening period. And an 18-footer is no good. That was by Jay Labatt. Here comes the Lions, Khalees Dansby, looking for an opening. Nice pass underneath to Jaylee Smith. She's tied up and it gives it to Aaliyah Brown. Fakes, fakes, goes up Ooh. off the glass. Aaliyah Brown. She's very confident down low. And got a turnover, West Washington. Nice play by Aaliyah Brown. Nice pass, give and go to Chloe Carter, knocked out of bounds. Nice defensive play by West Washington. If my eyes tell me right, that was Lily Thompson that knocked it out. Like I said, uh, I said something, you didn't say anything on the air. Oh, sorry. Dark numbers on, on yeah. dark jerseys are sometimes hard to differentiate, especially as my yeah, eyes get Yeah, athletic older. directors out here, dark on dark is difficult to uh, to distinguish. At the worst, have them outlined in white. Oh, yeah. You know? Pass underneath the JLA. Smith turnaround is blocked. 
And easy shot missed. Another easy shot missed and throw it up again. And let's see. what I can't throw her number. That's, that was Bat. That was Jayla Bat. She now has four points. 4.15 to play, opening period. Tie game at seven. Chloe Carter almost throws away. Khalees Dansby, about a 15-footer along the baseline is good. She now has seven of the nine points. Aaliyah Brown with the other two for the Lady Lions. Now we're gonna have too much defense called on Aaliyah Brown. That is Aaliyah, that's her first team second. I like how it, uh, I, got, I guess I got closed caption on. You know, yeah, got, How it spells some of the words. This is interesting. Oh, wow. That nice move, but. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, Jaylen Brown. <laughs> yeah. Got a little physical there. The Lions have the ball out. In front court is Khalees. Wide open pass underneath to Leah Brown. Will not go. Rebound taken by West Washington. Got a one on one. All right, let me see your number when she turns sideways here. Who is Ten. that? 10? Okay, Meredith Deaton. And it wouldn't be a, game, a home game if I didn't have a cloaked figure standing in front of one of my lower campus. <laughs> of course, down there to the <laughs> left, yes. <laughs> All right, pass under. Nice pass underneath to Aaliyah Brown. Nice pass from Khalees Dansby. So she's not only scoring, she got a couple of yeah, assists here tonight, too. a great game too. so far. Yeah, so that's great. West Washington with the ball, trailing 11 to nine. Working the ball around the perimeter. It's not a weave, not the traditional weave, but still looking for something inside the paint or inside the arc. And a three-pointer attempt is good. That is by Jayla Bat. That gives her seven on the evening so far. Gives the lead to West Washington at 12 to 11. Hey, it looks like we have Ryland Byers ready to come in next dead ball. Two, approaching the two minute mark, first period. And Khalees loses control, the ball goes out of bounds. So we have three new players in for the Lions. Ryland Byers, Nevaeh McWilliams, number 32. And Riley Newton, number 30. Riley should be warm. She put a lot of time in during that JV game. Uh, yes. Ryland is number 14. I didn't say her number. And we have a player in for West Washington as well. That's Layla Manship. She's a five foot eight inch sophomore. Rock Creek in a 2 2 1 full court press. Trapping full court press. They get the ball over midcourt. Nice play. Uh, and she dribbles the ball out of bounds. That was uh, Meredith Deaton. Uh, she could have also been called for the Heisman Trophy pose. <laughs> Here, she, she pushed off. It could have been an offensive foul. But there was not an official around, so didn't call it. He might have just been impressed. <laughs> I know you officiate. It's certainly a different perspective on the floor than it is up here. Uh, absolutely. And we got a foul. Tripping foul is going to be called. That foul is on Ava Woods. That is her first. Team's first. I'm not really sure that was a trip. I, it, I'm not sure she just didn't step on Woods' foot. Nevaeh McWilliams, three-pointer from the corner is no good. Rebound, Ryland Byers. Kicks it out to Riley Newton. Back to Byers. Pass underneath to Aaliyah Brown. She's in the paint. Ooh. Goes up hard off the glass. Oh, will not fall. Man, Rebound. she tough down low. That was a, that was a good that play was a by good her. Play. Wish it would have Just didn't fall. I mean, she, with authority, yes, she took it to the basket. Yes, that's what I'm saying. It was. Okay, so the Senators, Lady Senators, still working it around. 
Ooh. <laughs> a little extra hop there. I thought, thought they would have called that one. Yeah. Again, uh, you know, according to John Harrell, this was going to be a close game, and this is the way it has been since the beginning. Right now, West Washington leading by a point, 12 to 11. Three-pointer is good. Nice shot. That was by Lily Thompson. That gives her six. That's two three-pointers for the evening for Lily. Four-point lead, largest of the game by either team. Pass underneath goes astray. It was intended for Aaliyah Brown. That was from Riley Newton, but it would not. Uh, it was just out of her reach. Six seconds to play, opening period. West Washington needs to come the entire length of the court. Boy, that was an untimely turnover. And what do we get? Are we going to get anything? Ah, oh, nice block by Nevaeh McWilliams. All right, so after one period of play, it is West Washington 15. The Rock Creek Lady Lions 11. We'll be back in just a minute. The Lions are sponsored by C&K Construction. Elevate your home with C&K, your local home transformation experts. Proudly locally owned and operated, we bring you a range of services including roofing, siding, windows, gutters, painting, drywall, flooring, bathroom remodeling, and kitchen cabinets. We treat your home like our own, ensuring top-notch craftsmanship and attention to detail, ready to revitalize your space. Call us for a free estimate at 502-381-8039. All right, once again, West Washington with a four-point lead after one period of play. Leading the way for West Washington is Jay Labatt with seven points. Lily Thompson has six, and Meredith Deaton scored two. For the Lady Lions, Kalise Dansby with seven, and Aaliyah Brown with four. West Washington with first possession to begin this second period. Man, it's so quiet in here, you're going to hear a pin drop. Yeah, it's, it's almost uncomfortable to speak. Yes. I don't want everybody to listen to me from the crowd. Yeah. Oh, oh, the ball was knocked into the hands of Nevaeh McWilliams, who was standing out of bounds. And, of course, by the time she turned around, I don't think she was convinced. No. Well, they do know better. They know their own bodies. They would know if they fouled. Of course. Of course. All right, on the replay, there she was. She's standing out of bounds. Now she's going to move. No, I'm not here. Okay, got it. <laughs> oh, dear me. Oh, nice pass, Ooh. but it just got away. Turnover for West Washington. Down quickly, Aaliyah Brown off the glass. Oh, no. Clang, clanged high. it off the glass. Not even close. Nice shot by Meredith Deaton. That gives her four for the evening. Largest lead, Ryland Byers for a three. All right, welcome back, Ryland. Yeah, welcome back. From your sickness. And a way to get in the scorebook there, a three-pointer. Jaylee Smith will be returning to action, the next dead ball. Three-point attempt is no good. That was Shelby Griffiths, by the way. Ryland Byers, one on three, but pass it out to Kalise Dansby, a three-pointer. Ten points now, double figures for Kalise. That's a fantastic game so far. Tie game is 17. This is much better than Saturday's yes. game. No comparison. West Washington, ball's knocked away. Last touch by West, West Washington player. <laughs> Kalise looked to be arguing for the for the, uh, the call that was in her favor. She's, <laughs> it's nat natural. She's <laughs> oh, my gosh. Chanel Jones also back into the game along with uh, Jaylee Smith. 
<laughs> it just looks like she was like, what? what? Oh, ours? Okay. Uh, we'll take it, yeah. Okay, Wes, what I had mentioned, you probably caught it if you're watching. Man-to-man -man defense. Oh, shoot the ball, Cole. She was wide open. Yeah. Riley Newton for a three-pointer. Wow. This so is a we, totally different team. Yeah, it looks, looks a lot different. Sweet. West Washington's going to call a timeout. They just want a half timeout, a 30-second timeout. All right, uh, at a couple, not too long ago, West Washington was leading 17 to 11. The score now is Rock Creek 20, West Washington 17. So nine straight points for the Lady Lions to claim back the lead. All right, important question for you. You may not know the answer or care to even answer. Okay. We, got, we got the college football championship play tonight. Okay. Uh, Michigan versus Washington. Who uh, are you saying? My family's from the Michigan area, and I, that's all I remember growing up. So. Okay, so you have to go with Michigan. <laughs> I have to. I, I personally think Michigan's going to win, but I'm pulling for Washington. Washington? Okay. Yeah, but I, I think Michigan will win. I like the story with the Washington quarterback, this Michael Penix, who played for IU. Oh, yeah. And apparently he wasn't good enough to play there his second year, and now he's playing in the national championship. Name been mentioned for player of the year. Oh, so, really? Wow. Yeah. yeah. He's had a good. All right, we're going to have a trapping half-court defense by the Lady Lions. And the ball's knocked away. It'll stay at West Washington's end as it goes out of bounds. <clears throat> Five and a half minutes to play, second period. And nice hook. And that was by Jayla Bat. Nice play by her. Nine, nine points now for Bat. Elise Dansby out on the left hand wing. She dribbles it out, goes around the other side, over to Riley Newton. The three-pointer is will, will not fall. But Nevaeh McWilliams there to claim the rebound, kicks it out. Uh, Chanel tried to get too fancy. She lost the ball. Here comes West Washington. Nice pass. And a foul is going to be called on uh, Chanel Jones. Okay. Now, kind of look I, I, I cannot understand their griping at this call. It looked like a, a foul. Yeah. All right, now we're going to get see it up here on replay uh, if, if we have the camera available at that end. No, but I don't think we do. All right, just, well, there was ball there, but I'll see that. From here, it certainly looked like arm. No, no, I saw it. Yeah, she, that was clearly a foul. Yeah. I think she had two hands on her, actually, one on the hip. and then Well, yeah, exactly, exactly. Can you see the number? Is that number 10? It is number it, 10. It, all right. It's Meredith Deaton at the line. She missed the first one, but he hit the second one. It gives her five points on the evening. Ties the game at 20 apiece. And Khalees dribbles it off her own leg, out of bounds. She was a little bit out of control there. She was looking to pass, and yeah. she had a person to pass it to, but dribbled off her knee. All right, back to a 1-2-1-1 one, one, one full court press. <laughs> oh my gosh! Shot was by Jay Labat. A little, a lot of defense there. A lot of defense. Threw, threw her off. Nice move, but blocked by Nevaeh McWims. That is, that was Lily Thompson, who drove down the left hand side of the lane. Ah, uh, pass underneath. We have a foul called. It's either Chanel. on Chanel. It's either on Chanel or. Khalees, it's on, it's on Khalees, Dansby. It's her first. All right, first free throw is good. Is 32 or 12? Can you tell? Who's shooting? Shooting. I see the two. I, that's what I see too. I, I can't see any other number. All right, it's 32. Ava Woods hits the second free throw. Back to the lead for West Washington. Ryland Byers, oh, terrible pass, terrible pass. But coming up with it was uh, Chanel Jones, but then she dropped it out of bounds. That was an ill-advised pass to try to get that ball in. Here 
Here comes West Washington. Nice defense by Nevea. Oh, nice, nice play by Ryland Byers to come in and knock that ball away from Woods. West Washington along the baseline, left-hand side of the lane. And the pass, they get the pass in to Lily Thompson. Twenty-one twenty, West Washington with the lead. Halfway through the second period. And losing the ball out of bounds is Meredith Deaton. Aaliyah Brown back into the game, replacing Chanel Jones. <laughs> Bringing the ball up is Khalees Dansby as she crosses midcourt, goes to her left. Out to Jaylee Smith, pass underneath to Aaliyah Brown. He gets loose, Ooh. turnover for the Lady Lions. I didn't get an accurate turnover count. I know we got at least six but I think it's more than that. Nice defense by Khalees. Notice uh, Coach Sarah Nord has a nice rotation of players going on here. Pass is overthrown, uh, and a nice hustle by Ryland Byers. It looked like the West Washington player was gonna be there to get it. She's always been really good at keeping her players fresh. Yes, yeah. Chloe Carter into the game, replacing Nevaeh McWilliams. You know, come sectional time, come tournament time, you want your rotation of seven or eight oh, players. Yeah. And that's, that, I think she's pretty getting that pretty well oh, established. Yeah. Lions seem a little bit slower this second quarter. Yes. Yeah. A lot more turnover, turnovers, I've noticed. Ryland Byers fakes a three. She goes to her right. Gives it up to Khalees. Khalees in the paint. Pull up. Oh, gives it to Jaylee Smith. Jaylee misses Ooh. the easy shot. There was defense there. I thought Khalees was going to shoot. Three-pointer by West Washington comes up short. Jaylee Smith there for the rebound, and then she throws it away. And we got a bucket. By Jayla Bat, that gives her 11. Khalees Dansby pull-up jumper is good. That gives her 12. Pass down quickly, and bad pass. Bad pass on West Washington's part from, from Bat. She, She's trying to go diagonal, the player going down the other side of the line, but she threw it behind her. Riley Newton in to replace Khalees Dansby. I got an itch in my right ear. <laughs> With these headphones on it. Yeah, you know, we haven't mentioned these headphones this year, but these are fabulous headphones. Oh yeah, these are great. These are great, professional sounding. And Jaylee Smith puts it up and in for the basket. We got a foul called as well on Meredith Deaton. Oh, oh, getting it ready. Old I, oh, yeah, old-fashioned old three-point play. Got it, Keaton. You're, you're in mid-season form here. So the lead back to the Lady Lions at 24 to 23. Jaylee Smith. Free throw is good, Ooh. and there you go, the old-fashioned three-point play. <laughs> Two-point lead, Rock Creek. Now, there was a call there that was different when I was young. She dropped the ball, didn't, and I understand the ruling now, and I agree with it now. She never had control of the ball. She just dropped it. Block underneath. Fight for the loose ball coming out. Here comes Ryland Byers. Two on one. She and Newton. And Newton off the glass is nice. up and good. Nice play. Nice fast break. Just the way it's written up. Rock Creek now lead by four. That's literally how you practice that. In, in, you know. Yes. That's why you do the drills. Yeah, yeah. So it's just natural when it, if you ever get an opportunity. Shot is way short. Ryland Byers there for the rebound. Ahead quickly to Newton. And she almost loses control, but then she does. She gets it stolen from her. West Washington down. A shot way too hard. Ooh, that was by Thompson. That would have been a foul. Yeah. 
we're going to have a timeout call by Rock Creek with 58 seconds to play. In the second quarter, the score is Lady Lions 27, West Washington Lady Senators 23. We'll be back. All right, back to action here. Rock Creek with the with possession. See what they're going to do here at the last minute of this first half. Ryland Byers, 18-footer by Ryland is no good. I'm not sure that's the shot they wanted. Here comes West Washington, 40 seconds. Will not fall, boy. Uh, ooh, block, uh, I guess they call block uh, block on that. The, West Washington coach bench wanted a foul, which if it had been reversed, Rock Creek would have too. Mm -hmm. 30 seconds to play. Yeah. Ryland Byers crosses midcourt. To Chloe Carter straight away, and almost she's cut off. Back to Ryland, 14 seconds to play. Down to 10. She goes to her left. Pick and roll. Jaylee Smith off the glass nice. up and in. Nice play. And that's the end of the first half. The score is Rock Creek 29, West Washington 20, uh, 23. Excuse me, six-point lead. Let's take a quick look at the scoring. First of all, for West Washington, uh, Ava Woods has a point. Meredith Deaton, five points. Lily Thompson, six points. Leading the way is Jay Labatt with 11 points. For Rock Creek, let's see. Ryland Byers with a three-pointer. Aaliyah Brown with two field goals for four points. Riley Newton with a regular and a, and a, and a three for five points. Jaylee Smith, two field goals and a free throw for five points. And Khalees Dansby, one, two, three, Four regular field goals and one, it's like uh, one three point field goal wow, for 12 points. Well, uh, just a quick observation. Looks, uh, Lions look a lot different tonight than they did Saturday. Yes, totally different team. Uh, we've seen this team before. The, yes. the one that played on, what was that, Friday, Saturday? When did they play last? A Saturday. Saturday, yeah. yeah. That, was, that was just a different team. Yeah, that was uh, – yeah, I'm was not sure what it was. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde type. Maybe, maybe yeah. they weren't feeling well. I don't know. But they're actually uh, – and the when they actually run the plays, they're down low plays, mm -hmm. uh, score. So. I mean, we've seen some really good passing yes. here. And, yeah, that, that break, that fast break, two on yep. fast break, just yep. picture perfect. Yep. You know. And uh, we, we're working the high post, low post quite as well, as well. Getting the ball into Aaliyah Brown and Jalen Smith as well. I want to take a quick look at something. Uh, the John Harrell site uh, lets you check each day's games uh, and see, you know, just a bunch of different information. And I want to make sure I'm saying this right. All right. These two teams have played 11 times before tonight. Oh, West really? Washington has won all 11 of them. Wow. So this is uh, a good opportunity for, for the Rock Creek girls. Uh, John Harrell had him, uh, West Washington as 52 to 48 favorites. Last time they played was uh, uh, last January the 9th, and West Washington won by 15, 62 to 47. Ooh, wow. So anyway, that's where we stand tonight. So yeah, we'll, we'll get out of here. I don't see a half-court shot coming up. No, so I was waiting on it, but. Oh, there, there he is. Go. There he comes. I, all right. We'll be back in a few minutes with second half action. One dollar half court. Hot shot. You pay one dollar. You make the shot. I'll reach down into my pocket and hand you. We are sponsored by Industrial Machine and Tool. Unlock precision and efficiency with Industrial Machine and Tool in New Albany. 
the common sense solution for top-notch machining and tool solutions. From concept to creation, we've got your manufacturing needs covered. Explore excellence at industrial machine and tool, where quality meets innovation in every project. Hey, Dr. Elsperman, I believe one of the best ways to invest in a community is to encourage participation in high school sports. I agree, Paul. High school sports can play a tremendous role in student athletes obtaining their first degree in life, a high school diploma. Ivy Tech Community College also plays a role by serving more than 70,000 Indiana high school students who are earning college credit while finishing high school. High school athletics are all about setting students up for success in the classroom and in life, and that's especially important. Considering less than 7% of student athletes play sports in college, and even fewer receive scholarships. At Ivy Tech, thousands of high school students complete their freshman year of college or first industry credential, giving them a head start on college and careers. We appreciate the support of partners like Ivy Tech who invest in our student athletes, their education, and our communities. This is championing education. This is investing in your community. This is your IHSAA. The Honorable Clark County judges extend their best wishes to the Rock Creek Lions as they hit the court. Your dedication and sportsmanship inspire us all. Good luck in tonight's game. The judges stand behind you, cheering for victory and success both on and off the court. Mr. Crosley, your passion and enthusiasm for teaching history taught me valuable life lessons. Like what, Carrie? The importance of dedication, commitment, showing up every day and those lessons helped me in the classroom and on the softball field. I'm Carrie Rosati, IHSAA Assistant Commissioner, and this is Pat Crosley, my mentor from Ron Colley High School. As an educator, I always care about the whole student, from their academic success to their character development to their athletic performance. That's why I love supporting students outside the classroom at athletic events. It showed me you really cared about me as a person, not just as a student. Having devoted coaches and teachers like you taught me accountability and motivated me in both my schoolwork and athletics. I showed up every day because you did the same for me. Thanks, Carrie. We can all support hardworking teachers and coaches by buying a ticket to your high school's athletic events. This is meaningful mentorship. This is life-changing leadership. This is your IHSAA. Today's game is sponsored by Pearl Street Game and Coffee House. Discover a haven for game enthusiasts and coffee lovers at Pearl Street Game and Coffee House in Jeffersonville. Immerse yourself in a vibrant gaming atmosphere while savoring premium coffee blends. Unleash the fun at Pearl Street and level up your leisure time. I love that high school sports are about so much more than winning. I couldn't agree more. While the immediate goal might be to win a game or championship, the real purpose of high school sports is to develop good people, not just good athletes. I'm Robert Falkins, a proud South Bend LaSalle Lion. And I'm Carrie Rosati, a proud Ron Colley Royal. We're both assistant commissioners of the Indiana High School Athletic Association. In education-based athletics, we care just as much about how student athletes are performing in the classroom as we do about how they're performing on the playing field. That's because high school sports are a tool to build the character of student athletes, not just their athletic skills. Developing the whole person rather than just the athlete. That's what high school sports in Indiana are all about. Support the real purpose of education-based athletics by buying a ticket to your high school's athletic events. This is training good athletes. This is developing better people. This is your IHSAA. The Lions are sponsored by C&K Construction. Elevate your home with C&K. 
your local home transformation experts. Proudly locally owned and operated, we bring you a range of services including roofing, siding, windows, gutters, painting, drywall, flooring, bathroom remodeling, and kitchen cabinets. We treat your home like our own, ensuring top-notch craftsmanship and attention to detail, ready to revitalize your space. Call us for a free estimate at 502-381-8039. Today's game is sponsored by Pearl Street Game and Coffee House. Discover a haven for game enthusiasts and coffee lovers at Pearl Street Game and Coffee House in Jeffersonville. Immerse yourself in a vibrant gaming atmosphere while savoring premium coffee blends. Unleash the fun at Pearl Street and level up your leisure time. All right, just a few seconds away from second half action. Uh, we think there are some West Washington people watching us tonight because somebody got information from us before the game yeah, started. Yeah, I would assume there was. So if there are, we welcome you and uh, hope you're enjoying the you know the tele the broadcast here, the streaming event. It's a good game. So it's if, you, if game. you're if you're not here, this is a, a good game to watch, regardless of outcome or or whatever. That's just some games are just good. Oh yeah. As compared to last Saturday, which it was just bad from the very yeah. beginning. And I'm sure it wasn't fun to play for them because oh, <laughs> they yeah. looked like they were having a rough time. All right, West Washington has the ball out. Ooh. Ball's knocked away by Chloe Carter. It'll stay at the West Washington end. We do have a West Wash. Go Senators in hey. the comments. So. All right, well, welcome. Welcome. Yes, certainly welcome you. We're just two, we're just two shade tree <laughs> announcers here. But we enjoy it. All right, turnover. Rock Creek, Kalise Dansby, three-pointer, will not fall. Oh, my gosh. Jaylee Smith gets the rebound but has it knocked away from her. <laughs> that was almost a, a hand grenade toss. And Ooh, we and got a wide-open shot. Lay in. What's her number over there? I can't see it from here. Over guarding Kalise. All right, right by Aaliyah Brown. Five? Yeah, that's it. It's five. I can see it now. Kalis with the move will not fall. Rebound taken out by West Washington. That was uh, Bat last time who scored on the layup. That gives her 13 points for the night. Usually by this time of the game, I recognize the numbers. No, not just the numbers, just the people. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because you've memorized some very often, like Eastern European names. Oh, my gosh. Well, I always get pronunciations from the coaches before we ever start. I was at a football game one time. I was with your wife, Alyssa. She was my spotter. I was the announcer down at Providence, and they played a team. Turnover on the part of the Lady Lions. They played a team from Trinity Lutheran the one year they had varsity football. And their uh, shot is blocked, taken out. Here comes Kalise ahead to Chanel Jones. Way too far under, misses the shot. Rebound put up and no good by Chloe Carter. But anyway, Trinity had... The worst uniform number color combination possible. The athletic director for Providence was standing. Oh, nice pass underneath. And that goes to bat as well. 
the athletic director for Providence was standing on the sideline, and he was on walkie-talkie. When he could figure out the numbers, he would tell us Radio what numbers. Radio it over. So your wife and I, ah, uh, shot blocked, Jaylee. We finally figured out just the physical appearance of, of, of all the players, and that, that's how we called the remainder of the game. 29 to 27, West Washington's climbed back within two points, and they have possession of the ball as well. Bat on the drive, and nice shot by Jayla Bat. Now a with seven, back here. now with 17 of the 29 points. Coley stands me on the drive. Oh, she should have put it up, but she backed it up. Jaylee Smith in and out, no Ooh. good. Chloe Carter puts it up, no good. Fight for the rebound, it goes out of bounds. It'll stay at the Rock Creek end. Definitely not lack of effort. They just can't get a shot to fall. No, no. I was broadcasting a game. I had a guest color commentator with me one time. Young fella, it was a boys game. Yep. Great move to get open, go down the lane. He missed the play. <laughs> my color commentator said, million dollar move and a 10 cent shot. <laughs> <laughs> I just started laughing right, right on the air. Three pointer no good by Ryland Byers. So I've used that one quite quite often. Oh, a lot of a lot of physical contact in there. Shot is no good. Fight for the rebound. Who is that? Is that Chanel? Chanel. I can't tell. And what do we have? We have a foul called on West Washington. It's on Meredith Deaton. That's her second. Deaton. Her second team's first. My guest commentator was a, was a local coach. <laughs> so uh, I, I could laugh at him. Yeah, I'm going to – that's a good one. All right, Chanel picks up her dribble, gets it under to Aaliyah Brown, kicks it out. Ryland Byers, three-pointer, will not fall. Fight for the rebound. Boy, there hasn't been too many fouls called tonight at no, all. not today. Just four against us and four against West Washington. I've seen plenty of other plays I thought deserved a foul on both teams. And nice. Uh, it was a two-on-one. It looked like it was going to be really good, but then West Washington couldn't – or Rock Creek couldn't hit the shot. And we're going to have a travel, I think, call. No, we're going to have a timeout call. Oh, you know, uh, or that. <laughs> yeah. I'm not really sure. <laughs> that, was, that was just pretty ugly basketball there yeah. for about 10 seconds. All right, with the score 29-29 to with four minutes, 15 seconds to go in the third period. We got uh, Rock Creek 29, West Washington 29. Be back in just a little bit. The Honorable Clark County judges extend their best wishes to the Rock Creek Lions as they hit the court. Your dedication and sportsmanship inspire us all. Good luck in tonight's game. The judges stand behind you. Cheering for victory and success both on and off the court. All right, here we go, back to action. It'll be Rock Creek's ball out on the far sideline. Ryland Byers will take the ball from the official. Looking, looking, still can't get it in. Finally gets it into Chanel Jones. Chanel pull up, goes down the lane, puts it up, and rolls it Ooh, over the whip nice. of, the, of the rim. That was a nice play by Chanel. That was a definitely a one-on-one -on -one move. West Washington beats the press and going up, a foul is going to be called on Jaylee Smith. I think she disagrees. Yeah. I think in her mind. But I think was, she's wrong. <laughs> I, yeah. She could have just sta stood there and it would probably accomplish the same amount of defense. Yeah, we just we just saw it on the delay here. It, yeah, it looked, yeah. Looked like a foul. Free throw is good. That is Lily Thompson. 
Gives her seven points on the evening. That gives the lead back. Oh, I'm sorry, brings West Washington within a point. Second free throw is good. Pretty free throw shot. Smooth as silk. Silky oh, smooth. Oh, is she gonna, yeah, she'll get a silky smooth. <laughs> Tie game, 31. Chanel goes to her right, looking pick and roll. Nice play. Oldest play in the book. Oh, Jalen oh, misses easy it, shot. Misses second easy shot. Ah, should have had two on that one. Uh, foul's going to be called on Chanel Jones on that play. That was too easy to call. For Chanel, that's number two. Nevaeh McWilliams back into the game, replacing Jaylee Smith. Boy, Jaylee missed two easy shots under there. And she fought so hard to get that, you know. Oh, we got burned by that a couple times on Saturday. We got burned there. That's Ava Woods with a basket on the inbounds play wide open underneath. Yeah, what were you saying? I'm sorry, what were you saying? Jaylee worked so hard to recover that, that pass and then. Oh. Chanel misses the three pointer. Rebound taken out by Wes Washington. See now I've got, I've, physically I've got Woods in my mind. I've got Thompson in my mind. I can pick them out without even seeing them. Nice steal by Chloe Cardinal. Let's see if she can hit the bucket. Chloe will not fall. Ryland Byers there hustling. Notice how Ryland uh, just raced so down uh -huh. to, to cover. Yep. Uh, because there was no one else there. No. And that made all the difference. Possession goes to Rock Creek. Almost like you should always, like, I don't know, come back <laughs> yeah. this out of the court. Chanel misses the open shot from the corner. Okay, this girl here, I got her memorized, Shelby Griffiths. See, really. All right. Still just dribbling the ball. 2.26 to play, third period. All right, people got their money's worth tonight out of this game. Oh, yeah, game. it's been a good game. Tough D from Michelle. Yes, very good defense. And miss a shot. And uh, Woods with this rebound and up back and in. I think that was Thompson. Thompson. Yes, it was. That puts her in double figures with 10 points. Four point lead for West Washington. It's gone back and forth. Held ball, turnover for the Lions as West Washington gets the arrow pointing their way. Khalees Dansby, Ryland Byers back in. Not Ryland Byers. Riley Newton back in. Jayla Bat back in for West Washington. She's the leading scorer in the game with 17. And almost in trouble there. Finally, they get the ball out. Bat. Double team, she's cut off, has to give it up. And shot is blocked, Ooh. but retrieved by West Washington. Nice pass underneath, Ava Woods off the glass is up and in. Give her five on the evening. Free throw and two buckets. 37 to 31, six point lead West Washington. Boy, we went from six up to six down pretty quickly there, didn't we? Nevea off to Aaliyah Brown, and she misses the bunny. Just can't get anything to fall. No, the cold shooting this third quarter. Nice move, and we've got a foul to be called on Ryland Byers. I think they've avoided the uh, the curse, but it still just can't. The luck, that's not there. For Ryland, that is her first. I mean, do you see any frost on the top of the rim up here? <laughs> it's got to be end? something. Shoo. First free throw is no good. I think this is bad. Yeah, it's number five. And misses the second free throw, but rebound by Wood. She goes up and have a travel call. I, I agree with that. I think it was. I know it looked like she got fouled, but I think she skipped both of her feet before 
She got fouled. And we're looking at on delay. Their uh, you, fans disagree. Yeah, their fans do. Well, oh yeah. Well, I mean that's that, that's what people. I don't do. think it was a bad call. I don't either. But we would be our fans would be doing the same thing if the situation was reversed. For sure. All right, Ryland Byers gives it up to Riley Newton. Goes to the free throw line. Pull up jumper is no good. Right. Just will not fall. My goodness. If she was wide open. The ball goes out of bounds. It There's goes an back easy to eight to ten points. That if we could just get those shots to fall. Yes. Yeah. All right, down to 16 seconds. Down to five. Nice pass underneath the woods, and uh, she missed it, but a foul's going to be called on Aaliyah Brown. Good pass. That was a very good pass. Excellent play. Ava Woods with five points, trying to add to that total. Left-hander puts it up, and good. And uh, saw a lot of the rim before it fell through. Ryland Byers, desperation, three-pointer, no good. After three periods of play, that, boy, the end of that quarter was not very good. Yeah. We were up six, and now we're down eight. West Washington leading 39-31. to 31. We'll be back in just about a minute with fourth quarter action. Today's game is sponsored by Pearl Street Game and Coffee House. Discover a haven for game enthusiasts and coffee lovers at Pearl Street Game and Coffee House in Jeffersonville. Immerse yourself in a vibrant gaming atmosphere while savoring premium coffee blends. Unleash the fun at Pearl Street and level up your leisure time. The Lions are sponsored by C&K Construction. Elevate your home with C&K, your local home transformation experts. Proudly locally owned and operated, we bring you a range of services including roofing, siding, windows, gutters, painting, drywall, flooring, bathroom remodeling, and kitchen cabinets. We treat your home like our own, ensuring top-notch craftsmanship and attention to detail, ready to revitalize your space. Call us for a free estimate at All right, Lady Lions have the ball up. They need to uh, chop a little bit into this lead here. Again, it's been, an enjoy been an enjoyable game to watch, generally speaking. Oh, yeah. If you're a Rock Creek fan, it's not as enjoyable as the nice pass underneath to Jaylee, and she puts it to There Smith. we go. They must have chiseled off that ice. <laughs> Would you call that an alley oop play? <laughs> it kind of it doesn't count because it, she it, didn't she didn't throw it down. But it did uh, have all the hallmarks of one. Yes. It, trying to go underneath was Jay Labatt, but it's blocked, taken out by the Lions. Kalise Dan oh, a cross court, ill advised cross court pass intended to Kalise Dansby. Here comes West Washington on the move. And now we got a loose ball again, and coming up with it is West Washington pass underneath to Woods. Has to get it out. A three pointer attempt is good by Meredith Deaton. That gives her eight points on the evening. Nine point lead, largest lead of the game for either team. Kalise in the paint, puts it up and good. Kalise Dansby with 14 points. 42 to 35. Need to keep it, certainly I know you need to start carving into it, but you certainly need to keep it under 10. Yep. There's a psychological yes. something with 10. You should get those double digits. Yes, right. Okay, we're in trouble. Uh, West Washington's in trouble out there. Almost threw the ball away, and dudes throw it away now. Ryland Byers goes in for the left hand layup, up and good. 
Ryland now with five timeout called by West Washington coach Kristen Messmore. With 6.08 to play, Rock Creek is back within five at 42 to 37. We'll be right back. We are sponsored by Industrial Machine and Tool. Unlock precision and efficiency with Industrial Machine and Tool in New Albany. The common sense solution for top-notch machining and tool solutions. From concept to creation, we've got your manufacturing needs covered. Explore excellence at Industrial Machine and Tool, where quality meets innovation in every project. The Honorable Clark County judges extend their best wishes to the Rock Creek Lions as they hit the court. Your dedication and sportsmanship inspire us all. Good luck in tonight's game. The judges stand behind you, cheering for victory and success both on and off the court. Back in Tim Floyd, proud to be here this is sports medicine for the Rock Creek Lions. The certified athletic trainer Jessica Cody and Dr. Chris Taylor will make this his team positions. Back in Tim Floyd. Game changer in sports medicine. To learn more, please visit All right, so West Washington will have to come the length of the court. Rock Creek in a full court press. Oh, uh, ill advised pass under the basket, but they got away with it. And now the ball's on the ground, on the floor, and we have a tie. A held ball. It'll, it'll stay at West Washington's end in our direction. There's been a lot of uh, scrambling on the ground this game. Yeah. More like, than I'm used to. It's like maybe they, instead of the stick em spray, they use <laughs> Pam. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Both teams. Under six minutes to play. And the ball is loose once again, picked up by Jaylee Smith. Pass ahead to Khalees Dansby. It's over her head. She saves it in. And wild, wild. Uh, West Washington comes up with it. Don't have the number, so they'd back it out. <clears throat> West Washington patiently looking for something on offense. Still looking. In the paint, oh, wild shot. Thrown up there by Lily Thompson, hit nothing at all. Here come the Lions. Pass over to Ryland Byers, about a 12-footer is no good. Gets her own rebound, puts it off the glass. Nice. Up and in, nice hustle by Ryland Byers. Boy, we certainly missed her on Saturday. Oh, yeah. Just what she adds. Following her own shot, almost yes. like that's a, there's a moral to that. Hustling the whole time. All right, 42 to 39. This has been a game of runs. Oh, yeah. One team will score a lot, and then the other team will come back and score a lot. You are right about Ryland Byers. That hustle, that's, that's pretty much if I could sum her up. Steal by Khalees, goes up off the shot, and a foul is going to be called. She sold that one pretty well. Fouls on number 10, Meredith Deaton. That's her third. So Khalees Dansby, leading scorer for the Lions at this point with 14 points, trying to add two more. Aaliyah Brown and Chloe Carter into the game. We got a, a half timeout. All right, you get all right, BJ. We got four minutes and thirty seconds to play. Give me your scenario. How's this going to run out? I mean, how much more time we're going? No, I mean, how much? How's the end of the game going to going to come out? I'd like to. You don't have to predict a winner. No, uh, I I think. Uh Towards the end, they're gonna uh, Rock Creek's gonna make some costly mistakes. You think that, so? That's what I worry. I worry about that. You know, I mean, again, as we just mentioned a couple seconds ago, definitely a game of momentum runs. Yes. All right, and right now, Rock Creek has the momentum, and the question is, can they maintain that momentum? Yes. And, I hope they can. I hope they can. And can West Washington recover their lost momentum because they had a nine-point yes. lead? Now, if Rock Creek can uh, hold it and then uh, kind of capitalize on. Westwash kind of falling back. I right. think they'll be fine. Right. So Khalees Dansby, uh, she can cut it to one, but she uh, now she can cut it to two. 
have to take that one back. So Jesse Morlang likes the ads, huh? <laughs> I showed them to her earlier. Oh, but yeah. I couldn't get a kid to record them. Uh huh. Khalees hits the second one, gives her 15 on the night. Well, I'm just glad I don't have to read them anymore. They're hard to read in the moment. Ooh. Nice by Khalees, knocks the swats the ball away. 4.26 to play in this game. West Washington with a two-point lead. And that full court press is uh, giving them problems yes, at West is. Washington. They're having a difficult time getting it up. They're going to have to hurry to get it over in 10 seconds. And they, oh, no. No, she was about ready to cross the line, and this official on this side. I knew it was going to be close. I could tell. All right, so Rock Creek has an opportunity to either to tie or to take a one-point lead on this possession. Khalees behind her back, pull up, 16-footer is good. I hope she proves me wrong. Yes, yeah. All right, back to a tie game. Completely erased the nine-point hole that the Lions were in. All right, West Washington being rather deliberate, which is, I don't have any objection to that. You, you got to score. And you might as well work for a good shot. 3.35 to play in the game. It's tied at 42. All right, still just looking. Rock Creek in a... Uh, and a man-to-man -man defense. And that was a fake by police. She does like to try to sell the uh, the shoves. Yeah. You can't run into, you can't run directly into the other player and then fall backwards mm -hmm. and hope that you're going to get the, the charging call. All right, for Kalise, that's personal number two. Chanel Jones back in. Someone who used to do that a lot when I was, so 20-something years ago, was Micah Martin. Yes, I the, remember him. Notorious for uh, mm -hmm. the flop. Yep. A uh, nice steal by Chloe Carter. Can she hit the layup? Yes. yes Chloe Carter gives the lead back to the Lady Lions. Great turnaround. You know, they've, they've said they're, they're emphasizing that. Nice pass ahead wide open to Ava Woods. But they're, uh, you can get called for a foul and a technical by flopping now. Really? Wow. But I can't really say I've ever seen it. But I, I know that's what they emphasize. That'd be a tough call to, to do. Yes. Well, I mean, I like the one with Kalisa. That wasn't too difficult to see. Nevaeh McWilliams misses the three-pointer. I think they wanted a better shot than that. 226. And timeout called by Sarah Nord. Two minutes and 23 seconds remaining in the contest. Tie game, 44. Full timeout. Rock, Rock Creek with the ball. Full uh, No, nope, half timeout. Half well, okay. I'm glad they're doing back with the big hand signals. Yes. Because when they were doing the other ones, I just did not understand. I, uh, yes, I agree. You just had to kind of guess yeah. which, which ones they were. We got some more West Wash fans well, on here, too. All right, good. Well, welcome, guys. Uh, appreciate you joining in, uh, in with us tonight. Uh, sorry you can't be here because this is a really good game to watch. Fun game. fun game to watch. Regardless of the outcome, it's just, you know, tie game 44. Once again, just remind everybody, uh, you know, I read earlier from the John Harrell site, this is the 12th meeting between these two teams over the years. West Washington has won the previous, the previous 11 games. Jeez. All right, so should Rock Creek pull it out tonight, be the first time to beat West Washington. How many years is that? Over? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. And we got some ball handling problems there with Ryland. She wanted to give it to Khalees, but couldn't get open. Somebody finally. help her. Yeah. Chanel Jones brings it out to about the circle, midcourt. She goes down the lane. Pass underneath to Aaliyah Brown up and in. Nice. Aaliyah Brown. All right, now that was a pretty play. Yes, it was. That was a very good play. Under What'd two minutes. She, she commands that down low with authority. Yes. <laughs> All right, West Washington. 145 to play with possession of the ball, down two. 
Oh, a steal by Calise. That was a bad handoff on West Washington Park. Ahead to Chanel Jones, up and good. Yes. Chanel Jones. Nice play all around for the Lady Lions. 122 to play. Well, the momentum has continued to go Rock Creek's way. Pass underneath the woods. That's a nice play by Lily Thompson. Hand off to Ava Woods. That gives her 11 on the evening. 106 to play. Rock Creek with the ball. And if you look at the scoreboard, BJ, each team only has one foul. Really? Yes. Yeah, I mean, so we've been recording now for an hour and 17 minutes, which seems kind of short. <laughs> well, one foul in the last quarter. Not, not for the game, but. That just seems like the game's going by pretty quickly, too. Yes, it has. All right, we got the weave going on here. They're bur burning time Everybody's off. trying out the weave now. Yes. And a foul is going to be called. There we go. They need, they've got three more fouls they have to give up. Foul is on number 10. That's Meredith Deaton. That's her fourth. Second of the quarter. Down to 37 seconds. Very exciting game. Yes. Rock Creek needs to hold on to the ball. West Washington needs to foul three more times to get Rock Creek at the line. All right, and I think they're going to foul. They need to get fouls pretty quickly here. Like right, right there? Yeah, like right there. You said they have three more now, or two more? Two more now. A foul is on Jayla Bat. That's just her first. Team's third. So they got another one to give, and then – Rock Creek will be shooting free throws. Ooh, ooh, oh, ooh. dangerous inbounds yes. pass. Scared Al me with those. Almost stolen by Bat, and then Bat's called for the foul. All right, so the next time, Rock Creek will be shooting free – next foul, Rock Creek will be shooting free throws. Okay. So if you're West Washington, you cannot let Khalees Dansby touch the ball. All right, we had some action here. West there was a player. camera on it. I haven't, I haven't looked yeah. at it. She went to the ground, that's for sure, the West Washington player. Man, oh, they're not going to shoot. That'll put Aaliyah Brown at the, uh, at the line. I didn't see what the supposed foul was. Well, they're saying that Khalees pushed off to get open down here along the yeah, baseline, uh, sideline here. I, I didn't see it. I mean, I, I saw the girl hit the ground. Yes, I, did, I, I didn't see, I I didn't see, see the a live action. Yeah. And I didn't see it on the on the delay either. All right, we got a uh, timeout. Looks like a full timeout. Just 11 seconds remaining. 11 and a half seconds remaining. And This game really did take a turn. I, I was worried it was going to be one of those, uh, <laughs> you know, when they were up by 12. I, it's, it's one of those things, you know, Everything does, isn't based on your history, but yep. if a team has beaten you yeah. 11 times, that's sometimes very psychological. Yes. Oh, yeah. Know, you know, where teams really struggle to, to overcome that. Like last year, not this year, but last year, our girls beat Springs Valley for the first time ever. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we've had some real ugly games against Springs Valley. I went with your dad one time. Final score was 76-9. to nine. I, went, I, I went just to go with him. But I, was, I kept stats. When we play them in baseball, it's, yes. it's, it's that kind and, of thing. And I like their field, except I don't like the drop-off right after third yep, base. Yep, yep. But that's a nice place. I, I like Springs Valley. They're, they, they, they were very nice to us. They were really guys. nice to us. They always let us have our uh, senior night. Yeah, yeah, yes, right, right. All right, so who's going to the line? Aaliyah Brown yep. to shoot two. So if you're West Wash, and in this shot, let's say we don't make, we get the re. Are you fouling? You if you're Rock Creek, no. If you're if you're West Wash, are you trying to foul again? If you don't, if you don't get the ball, you have to. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but this situation where Rock Creek probably Rock Creek has four fouls, three three fouls to give. Okay. All right, you can you can burn three seconds off each yep. possession before you foul, because we've only we only well we have two fouls, don't we? No, we have one foul. Yeah. All right, Aaliyah needs to hit this Gotta one. Gotta hit it. No, nope. oh, all right. Wow. Now you're Rock Creek, and you again, got three fouls to give, so yes. you might as well. I, I would, I wouldn't foul them immediately. Let some time run off the clock. Yeah, two or three seconds for for three. You know, if you can let three seconds run off each time, that'll be down to two two and a half seconds. 
I tell you what, hitting one of those free throws would have been Yes, that would have been, been helpful. Great. You had forced him to take the three. Yes. And again, with hopefully three, she can with shake three it fouls. Off. She looks a little shook up by it, but hopefully she can just kind of yeah. shake yeah. it out. Yeah. I mean, She's had a solid again, game since then. Rock Creek at this point is really in the driver's seat yeah. with the, foul, the three fouls to give. But again, you just can't foul them in a half second three sure. straight times because they'll still have 10 seconds left. You've got to let a little time burn off the clock. Luckily, the, their defense today has been real tight. I mean, yes. I haven't, yes. I mean, heck, they only have one foul so far. And see if they can hold it. I, just a comment. I, I think the officials have really let them play tonight. There's a lot of things both ways I, I would have probably called a foul. But a foul win? Do I, win. That I would have called as fouls that weren't called as fouls. Oh, yeah, yeah. For yeah. E each each way. They were definitely letting them play. It's a it's a Monday evening. Maybe they <laughs> wanted it to go. <laughs> okay, so West Washington has to come the entire length of the court. All right, so they got Aaliyah sitting back. All right, all right. So they're letting them burn time off the clock before. Oh, why well, she should have fouled her right there. Okay, uh, wh why not foul it off? Three pointer can win it for us. Uh, down the lane, no good, and rebound nice. taken by Rock Creek for the first time in school history. Rock Creek has beaten the West Washington girls basketball team. 